Hi, and welcome to African Drumming Session 2 with Mr. Lamaster. So, uh, we're going to be building upon some of the things we did last week. So, uh, this week is going to be all in one video. Um, and I'm in my classroom this week, and we're going to be using the Spark, Smart Panel uh, and playing along with videos on it. So, um, I will also uh, link these videos in the Google Classroom. So, if you want to watch them without having to go through this whole video, um, you can look for those links. So, um, find something to drum on. A table, a desk, a chair, your legs, something. And uh, let's get started. Here we go. Remember that the drum has three sounds, bass, tone, and slap. Now we're going to put those three sounds together and create a rhythm. There's a rhythm from West Africa called funga, which is a very, very important rhythm because it was one of the first rhythms that was brought here to America by a lady by the name of Pearl Primus. Here we go. I'm going to put it together. Bass, tone, tone, okay, bass. So three tones, one bass. Bass, tone, ta, tone. Bass, tone, ta, tone. Then two basses. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Okay, let's see. I think I need some help on this. So let me see if I get my friend Luke to come in here and play the rhythm with me. All right, let's see how it's going. All right, Luke, you got it? I'm gonna play it. the box. Okay. And you play the drum. So you wanna tilt the drum a little bit forward so the sound comes out the bottom. Perfect. All right, good. So we're gonna do bass and three tones. We're gonna go bass in the middle, tone to tone. Very good. One more time, do the same thing again. Bass, tone to tone. Okay, put those two together. Listen to me first. Bass, tone to tone. Good. Second time, we're gonna change a little bit. Two basses. Bass, bass, two tones. So go bass, bass. Top, we go after me. Bass, tone, tone, tone. Then two basses. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Perfect. Here we go. Bass, tone, tone, tone. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Excellent. Okay, now listen to me. Bass, tone, tone, tone. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Two little tighter, okay? okay. Bass, tone, to tone, bass, bass, tone, tone. Yes! Bass, tone, to tone, bass, bass, tone, tone. My turn. Bass, tone, to tone, bass, bass, tone, tone. Let's go together, huh? Bass, tone, to tone, bass, bass, tone, tone. Join me. So that was the Funga Rhythm being played on djembe. So I hope you was able to follow along with that and figure it out. Um, so let's kind of rewind back to what we did some, um, last week. Uh, we dealt a lot with steady beat and we were layering the steady beat in. And sometimes I would play by myself and sometimes we would both play together. And then sometimes you would play by yourself and then I would join you again. So we were manipulating the texture and it was going from thin to thicker, back to thin and to thicker and to thin, right? Talking about how full or thin the sound or the music sounds or the drumming sounds, right? And so we need to be able to apply that concept to more than just steady beat, but to rhythms. 
And so um, let's do this, check it out. If uh, we wanna do this with the funga rhythm, how it's gonna work is um, sometimes I will be playing by myself again and sometimes we'll be playing together and then sometimes you'll play by yourself and sometimes we're together. So let's do this without any music playing. It's just us drumming, okay? Um, again, uh, this hand is me and this hand is gonna be you. And so when this hand is playing, uh, you're just resting and, and just watching and listening. And then uh, when this hand joins in, you join in with me, okay? And so it's gonna start with me. And then when you see this hand start playing, you join in and we're on the funga rhythm. And if you need to pause this uh, video right now and kind of practice the funga rhythm a little bit on your own, that's totally fine. You go ahead and pause it and do what you need to do. But we're gonna go ahead and move on now. And uh, let's get this started. Funga rhythm, here we go. I'll start it off. So it started with me playing by myself, and then you joined in. And we were both playing together, so the sound got thicker, or the texture got thicker, and the sound was more full. And then it ended with you playing by yourself, because it was just this hand here, which was just you playing by yourself. And so the sound uh, would have got thinner there, right? And this eventually needs to be applied to uh, different rhythms happening at the same time. So to kind of give you a sneak preview of where this is going, uh, here's another drum here. And on this drum, I'm going to be playing ta, 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 ti, ti. Or in uh, grown-up words, we count it like this. We go one, two, three, four, and. So in elementary, you probably went ta, 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 ti, ti. But grown-up musicians, we go like this. One, two, three, four, and. This is all going to be low sounds. Okay, so palm of your hand in the middle. And then on this drum, it's going to be the funga rhythm. And then on this one again is the one, two, three, four, and. So those got to be able to come together and happen at the same time. What I need you to do is just pick one. So you can play the funga rhythm with this hand. Or you can play one, two, three, four, and with this hand over here. You just choose. You don't have to play both at the same time. So here we go. It's going to start with this one. One, two, three, four, and one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. It, it was a little shaky when I first started putting both hands together because it's, it's really hard to do that. So I apologize for any uh, mistakes I made. If you didn't hear them, well, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen then, okay? So, uh, but that kind of gives you an idea of where this is going. Uh, so when both uh, rhythms came together at the same time, the, the texture was thicker, right? And the, uh, the sound was fuller. So uh, that's a really big... A characteristic of African drumming. So now it's time for the fun part. Let's just do a drum along and it's going to be some of the same music uh, that we were drumming along with last time. Uh, see where you can fit the funga rhythm in because it fits in some of this and you'll hear me doing it sometimes and sometimes I'll be doing other rhythms. So see if you can work the funga rhythm into this. Here we go.
good drumming session two and uh, texture layering uh, beats and layering uh, rhythms together and fungi which is a, a, a popular Af african drumming rhythm so hope you enjoyed that and uh, until next time keep drumming see you later